Guys, it's the real deal. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're taking on the Telodome EX3, and to be honest, out of all the dungeons, it's kind of the worst. Um, you know, Sincero's Marsh, we're getting commanders, Disa Caves, we're getting gear, and with the Terradome, we just get epic prototypes, which are pretty worthless now. When you start getting mythical prototypes, they are just on such a different level. Unfortunately, you can't really farm them. Um, yeah, so they, yeah, these divine prototypes, they're kind of obsolete now. Just pretty trash. You know, there's just the difference is just huge. And then we can farm universal crystal shells, which you can use to, you know, upgrade your mythical prototypes, but it's a 15% chance. So if I was to, you know, buy some stamina. That's like one in six. So if we had like 20 runs, you'd probably get three of these in one day. So yeah, it just, it doesn't really add up to me. They should definitely bump up the numbers for this because that's a lot of grinding. That is a lot. It's going to take ages. So let's show you the team that we're rolling with. So we've got um, Orthan as our tank. We've got Samuel. Um, old man Rick and then Corixia as our assassins and then Serena as our healer we got Hagridon as the commander I did take Impulse of Annihilation just because um, it just helps a little bit but actually now that I've got a better prototype Eye of Annihilation stick it on I'm sure that actually speed up the time uh, Company Heroes makes the most sense. Um, it's not going to be a quick fight, so there's no need to take the Overlord Sash. Um, and then we're just going to take... We can actually change that up now. Um, we've got another another Mythical in there, so it will make a little bit of a difference with the healing. So I know you're all thinking, oh, Caraxia, you know, she is SP+. plus. You don't have to have her. Um, any triple S assassin can fill her role. Um, I have used non um, triple S champions, but they're just they're just not on the same level. The damage is pretty low. Um, it's it's kind of sucks really. I feel like they should make them have the ki same kind of level, but they don't. Um, it is just the way it is. Um, but yeah, triple S, any triple S assassin can literally do this. Um, this isn't like a really, really fast team. I guess the next thing for me would be is I could probably take Serena out now and bring in another assassin. Ideally, you know, this would just be a team of five assassins. Um, but, you know, if you're early on in the game like I am, I think I'm at week 14 now. Um, you're going to have to have a tank and a healer just to sort of get through it. And then, you know, let it down the line. You can take those out and start to bring in some of these assassins. So, oh my god, look at Corexa go. 500 mil. She's doubling the damage of the other assassins. Obviously, you know, I've put a lot of resources into her. Um, she is she is really, really good. Um, I guess another really important part of this fight is this stage. So when you start having to take on these little, I don't know, are they golems? Um, they sort of explode when you hit them. They do damage across your team. Um, you can see now that like, they're not doing too much damage, but like earlier on, they were wiping my team out because they do hit really hard. So actually HP is really, really important for this fight. Uh, but looking at things now, actually, I look like I can probably upgrade my team and probably take out Serena. Sorry, Serena? Serena. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I just don't know. So that is a very, very good clear time. I think that's probably my best. Yep. Uh, very close to getting that recruitment card. But yeah, let's check out the builds and the heroes. So first on the list, it is Orthan. This Minotaur is crazy, by the way. Is he a Minotaur? No. What are horse people called? I can't remember the name. But yeah, he's, he's a horseman and he is insane. He's one of the best carries on my account. Really, really doing work for me. So you definitely want to go with an opportunist set and then Vigorious. Um, 
yeah, it just it just does so much for you. Uh, so we want to be looking for damage reduction. We want accuracy on him as well. Accuracy is more for waves and PvP. Um, HP, obviously insane on him um, for just all content. We've got damage reduction on the helmet. And then also damage reduction on the boots as well. I don't know if we've gone a little bit overkill on the reduction. Could maybe swap it out for some more HP. Um, probably will do that at some point because you can get damage reduction on your prototypes. Um, but yeah, so 1.3 mil HP, 55 accuracy, and then 68% damage reduction. Um, exclusive, fully maxed. Definitely want to do that on him. And talents maxed out as well. Next on the list, I mean, yeah, it is disgusting, Marcorexia. But, you know, I've, I've invested a lot into her. Um, her gear is not, like, crazy, crazy good, but it's still pretty solid. Uh, so we've got Marauder's Loot. Um, you're looking for crit rate, you're looking for crit damage, and you're looking for attack. Uh, crit rate on the gloves, it does make a big difference. Um, I'd love for her to have crit damage on the gloves. But if you don't have that crit rate, it's kind of pointless, and there will be bosses that... Basically, you have like a huge damage reduction if you're not um, getting crits. So you definitely need crits on her. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. And Sun Signet as well, obviously, for that extra crit rate. Nice triple roll in uh, attack there. And then attack on the boots as well. Exclusive, not fully maxed out yet, but we'll be working on that when the next event comes around. And you can see like pretty deep into talents. But again, like just one copy of Coraxia would do this for you she is almost it is kind of crazy how with the sp champions if you get one copy of them it is basically the same as like an immortal triple s hero that's how good they are so samuel samuel jackson love this guy um crazy good assassin he can self-revive as well if he does go down and he's doing aoe damage for us as well again marauders uh looter on him as well and then we've also got um, overload for crit damage. Again, the same, like all the assassins are the same. Crit rate, crit damage, attack percentage. That's what you're looking for. Um, but yeah, 40k attack, 68% crit rate, and then 51 crit damage. Um, exclusive, fully done on him. And then talents maxed out. But yeah, he's a real beast. And then we've got Rick, who I want to love this guy. But he just looks so old. He looks like he should be at the in the retirement home eating his tacky tachyopa pudding. Um, yeah, just old man Rick. He just he just looks. I don't know. Just need to put a bit of life into him. But yeah, he again. He's very very good. We've gone for triple overload because I run out of Mar uh, Marauders looter. Um, but yeah, again, just with that crit rate, that crit damage, and that attack percentage. Fifty six k. Sorry. 36k attack, 63% um, crit rate, and 74% crit damage. I mean, that's pretty solid on him. Um, exclusive, almost there. And then talents, yeah, again, just fully maxed out. And then, so just make sure I've not missed anyone. Nope. So last but not least, Serena. So, yeah, she is so good. She's a really, really good healer. She does look like a, a beekeeper with that mask on. Um, but yeah, I accidentally fed my first copy of her and it took me ages to get her back again. So she is one, when you get her, invest in her straight away, she will carry you so hard. Um, abundance set is great on her. Obviously, it's going to increase our healing. Again, with uh, Vigorious for that extra HP. Uh, on the gloves, HP percentage, HP percentage on the helmet, and then damage reduction on the boots. So you're just stacking HP, defense, and damage reduction on her. Um, we've got 964k HP, um, 2.4k defense, and then 48% damage reduction. Exclusive, fully maxed out, 100% worth. Um, people have told me you should always um, only max out exclusives on Triple S heroes. I do agree, but there's always exceptions to the rules, and Serena is definitely one of them. She's so good. Uh, of course, talent's maxed out as well, and I've even dipped in for pvp on her as well because she is that good well that is pretty much the end video guys i hope this helps some of you that are stuck on um the terror dome and yeah 
please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.